that works. Hi guys, it's Moxie, and this is Spencer. Oh, hey. He's the loser behind No Life Losers 5. Well, thank you for that kind introduction, You're Moxie. You're welcome. Um, so today we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff about our No Life Losers 5 channel, like why we started it, about the constant hate, um, who everybody kind of is, like who's part of us, and just that sort of thing. Pretty much. Well, I You mean, know what song I really like with my lord, Team? I like White Teeth Teens. White Teeth Teens? We need to do a video, a parody of her dancing from Letterman. Oh my god, I saw it on Ellen, but Can not I Letterman. please do it? If you want. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so, one of the things that... Wait, how did she dance? She was like... Yeah, she's like... Oh. Okay. <laughs> one of hobos. <laughs> like all my wigs are super burnt up and my cousins cut them, I've cut them, Ruby's cut them, I've everybody's cut them. Spencer's cut them. Like there's we're not trying to be serious. We're comedians. We're not serious people. And that's why we didn't win the, win the film festival. Yeah, because we got a serious topic and everybody else got comedy. So No offense to Nicoletta neighbors, sorry. No, she no, did a, it was a beautiful, really good. it was a beautiful script, it just wasn't fair that everybody else was comedy. So, the struggles of making a video and putting it out there and getting negative feedback is just like, heartbreaking kind of. Like, ah! Like, we spend, spend so much time, well, I spend so much, I spend so much time. I, sp but I'm the one that goes on camera and makes myself look like an idiot. Well, I don't, that is a lot. Like, if you weren't there, then that would be bad. Yeah. But, like, I thought you guys said you were going to write one, and then you never did. I did write it, but I just haven't given I wrote a whole parody on a Beyonce song, and I never gave what, it to you. A Beyonce? Uh-huh. I forget Wait, what, what song. song. I forget what song it was, but it was, it was one where she's at the beach. Anyways, the main thing is we, he spends a lot of time, and everybody has a lot of stuff they have to do, like... Ruby does a lot of the props. Granted, we all do a lot of the props. Yeah. But she does take a lot of time. Like on our Katy Perry Dark Horse one, she did all the staffs and a lot of the stuff. And I provide all the, pretty much all the wigs. And like, it is a group effort, but he does do a lot of the work. But when we see comments and the dislikes, like we have how many views on our Aurora parody? I don't know. Oh, we just got over 26,000. Yeah. Yay. Woo, -hoo, party. Yay. <laughs> yeah. But then we go and read the comments and it's like, you guys are disgusting. I want to die after hearing this song. The girl's a horrible singer. By the For the record, I do not sing the parodies, but I am right. We are doing my own song for my channel at this moment. He's I'm sick. sick. I'm sick, you guys. <laughs> um. Send me soup. JK, don't. You'll probably poison it. Oh yeah, and one thing that nobody knows about us is he's actually my brother, and <laughs> our our skin tones just completely match. Well, you know, I he goes out in the sun like a little bit more than I do, and I stay in my room. I don't. I really don't. Like you probably go to the beach more than I. When you see the script, you see the plans. When we start actually filming, how do you feel about it? Like a lot of the times, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to take my clothes off. <laughs> like straight up when Miley Cyrus is here there's no clothes it's just and then I start thinking about all the things we're gonna have to do and then I just stick my tongue out a lot <laughs> my dad really likes our yoga ball parody that's like straight back into 2000 like that's the kind of parody that was like all over in 2000 like straight up that's like what it reminds me of like 2000 parody like 2000, like the year 2000, man. We are kind of late to YouTube. You're like, late to YouTube. I had YouTube <laughs> when I was like two, but I deleted all those videos because they were just horrible. I had a YouTube account and I made anime music videos. Oh, that's like, so remember cute. when those were popular? Yeah. I... That's so cute. So, Dark Horse. Dark Horse. That's the video we have the most dislikes on. And I will admit. That probably the main reason we have the most dislikes on it is because Your of my lip syncing. No, I don't know. I don't know. It might be that, but like, it might be something else. What I do mean, you think it is? Nobody ever dislikes like the video quality or the cinematography sucks. It's all like the song sucks. 
Yeah, I'm or with... the singing. I don't know what it is. I it's, mean, it's just weird. there's this guy on YouTube that does parodies, and he has so many fans. I don't even know his name. It was like something really weird, and he can't sing. His parodies made no sense, but because he was hot, everybody liked him, which makes this much sense. Zero. <laughs> Zero. We're real. We're not fake. We're for real. We're real. For real, like bitches. straight out of the ghetto. Real, like real talk. Well, I'm really looking forward to my video just because we haven't done an actual video for my channel. Everything on my channel is stuff I've done alone in my room, basically, or the bathtub in the best friend tag video. I think that one had a lot of views because it was in the bathtub. Because it was in the bathtub, it had a lot of views. Straight up. But I had a bikini on, girl. Mm, ain't showing none of that. What we had a whole, a whole beautiful applause video. It was, it was really It good. was beautiful. And then Ruby said she didn't want to do it anymore. So then Jenny did it. And then Jenny, Jenny never just, wanted no. to finish it. And it was just so beautiful. Like, the face paint was, like, on point, guys. So on beautiful. Point. Like, there's a reason I do it. Because I actually stay through the whole video. If I'm going to quit No Life Loser Survive, I would finish the video we're working on and then do it. But I don't plan on quitting until you go away to college or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why is it flashing? Because it loves my face. Is that what's like? The time, is that how it always is? Or is I don't it mean know. getting low on space? Oh wait, no, it's not. What the fuck, man? That's weird. What the flying fuck? One of the things in the videos that's kind of, I'm not gonna lie, bothered me is how people call me fat. Like, I've read comments saying that I'm fat and I, like, back when we first started, he, he got a message saying, hey, you're a sexy big girl. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm actually really, like, I'm not this thin or anything but i mean like She's i'm so skinny i'm not fat like like I, I mean everybody like most girls will look fat when they're wearing we don't this. film on cinemascope yeah fyi i don't know what that shit means but okay it's, it's just like a thinning oh thing yeah like my stomach girl i'm all about that couch potato but i ain't that fat I know when you put yourself out there, people are going to say stuff, but, like, I don't see the point in saying things that literally will not give the pe person anything. Like, saying, oh, the angle of your camera was pretty shitty. Like, I understand that. You're trying to, like, say, like, you need to fix your camera. Like, but, like, what the fuck is that supposed to do about my weight? Like, fuck that shit. Um, There's a difference between constructive criticism and just being mean. Exactly. Like, I have no problem with constructive criticism. Me neither. Well, I mean, some of it like is pretty... If it's, if it's worded bad. Yeah. It's just like... Thanks. Let's see Turtle's daddy. Yeah. I mean, she gave me the cat, and that means she's the dad and I'm the mom. Why do we even have a channel? That is a good one. I like that. Yeah. Um, we have a channel because... Like, we could, like, lie like most YouTubers do and be like, oh, we're just having fun. No, like, he wants to do film. I want to act. I'm not going to lie about that. I mean, I don't think that I'll necessarily ever be famous. But, I mean, it's something to do with my time. But, yeah, we do have a channel because these are things we want to do. Ruby wants to do prop design and costuming, which I do enjoy doing, too. Um, we like makeup. He's an artist, so he can do the big eyeliner thing we had for Dark Horse. Like... I mean, it's just stuff we actually like doing. We're we're not necessarily doing it to get famous, but if we did get famous, of course we'd like that. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna lie. It really helps too, like with our careers later. Yeah, like most people are like, I never wanted to be famous. I just joined YouTube because I was bored. And it's <laughs> like, no, you if you put yourself out there on the internet, if you're making covers, you're singing, like you're doing so much editing, you want to be famous just because you aren't doesn't matter it's like doing so uh, so much work spending so much of your time for no reason like it's just kind of weird to think of everybody on youtube wants to be famous whether they think they actually will be or not is a different thing and that's another thing too that we haven't really been persistent with our videos uploading twice a month oh, i mean yeah. even that is a short amount of videos like yeah we should be doing like four videos a month, like every week, but like... We're in high school. Anna's a senior well, yeah, right now. She's a senior right yeah, now. Yeah, but she's not really a big part of the videos, actually. She does sing most of our songs, by the way, so I it mean... It is not Moxie. It's not me, but I mean, she's a good singer for like 
musicals. Like she gets the lead in all the school musicals. It's she's Dorothy. She's Dorothy. We're doing Dorothy Wizard of Oz right now. From KM and I'm on TM. Um, motherfucking wizard. You're Just not even kidding. the wizard. The, I know. Your professor Marvel. Marvel. I wouldn't know who Professor Marvel was if I didn't watch the Wizard of Oz every day in eighth grade. And I'm not even lying about that. Like, He's not. I did. He did. It's sad. It's sad. <laughs> But, you know, 8th grade was eighth. my coming out of emo-ness. I thought you were going to say coming out of the closet. I was like, you haven't done that yet. I'll Wait, let... you don't have your Just necklace kidding. on. That... Which one? The one that you and Leslie had. Oh, me and Leslie had two matching necklaces. We had a big crystal one, and then we had a key with a clock on it that symbolizes it was the, was the key to each other's hearts, and there was a clock on it because our love never runs out. Or you just, like, have the key to stick in the hole, just, like, doing oh. it every day, all oh. day, just like, uh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh. yeah, Moxie, wait, no, oh, yeah, Leslie, that sounds better. <laughs> That's not your voice, though. I couldn't make that my voice. Didn't oh, really have to. I haven't watched public television since, like, 2010 or earlier, probably 2009. 2010 was the best year of my life. I have nothing left. I'm just love me, please love me, no, please, don't touch please me. love me. Don't touch me, I'm famous. Shut up, Jenny. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's probably gonna see this video and be like, I fucking hate you all. <laughs> but it's okay. Because I'm not saying anything bad, I'm just saying she left. You won't see her anymore. I she commented like, on one understand. saying, she commented something on one of my pictures of me and my uncle, and then I was like, "You miss Uncle Sloth, don't ya?" And then she's like, "Yeah, but I don't, mi but I don't miss you." And then I said, "I figured," and she didn't reply. Wait, when was the last time you hung out with her? It's been months, man. Really? Yeah. Wait, since like the film festival or before that? I didn't even go to the film festival with you guys. Oh, that is true. But like, after, <laughs> after um, our film showed, like. I, don't I think couldn't I find Jenny at all. Like I was like, where's Jenny at? I don't know why she left. Yeah, but apparently we didn't give her enough credit for everything. Hey. I mean, or you could just follow me on Instagram at Moxie the Fame Monster, and then you can see it. That's, that's a reflection, but that's my neck, like right there. Right. It's just, a lot of the negative comments are really pointless. I mean, it's not gonna stop us, so I don't see what you're trying to do. Yeah, and um, if you guys don't like our videos could you please comment why you don't like them yeah and how we can make them better not just like this shit made me want to kill myself because that doesn't tell us anything that just says that you're that a fucked up you're, person yeah you're a dick man you're a dick he doesn't love me no it's not that it isn't that like, oh he just said he loves me <laughs> it's I don't know, we just never really hung out much besides being at school and being in our videos where I'm mostly under a lot of pressure to finish things and direct it. Because I have a lot of roles. <laughs> Moxie is kind of down here, you know, she just... This video wasn't supposed to be anything like this. I don't even understand. Like, guys. Guys. This is my natural hair. And. That's um, Mom Trace's weave. Oh shit, I have her scalp on my head. She scalped an Indian for that. Did she really? Yeah, she did. <laughs> There's a lot of shit happening when you take cocaine. Like, it's true. Um. But. You guys don't know who Montrese is, and you won't know until maybe Moxie and I announce it again in a video? Yeah. Again, maybe? Yeah. Video. I mean, I'm gonna make him maybe. announce it, because he won't announce it. He's like, I don't want anybody to know. I'm like, girl, how are you gonna get a fan base, girl? Like, how is Montrese gonna get a fan base? Like, what are we supposed to do without <laughs> Girl, who can you say you can stick your hand in my holes? Five holes, no six, I can't even count, but you can't count shit. Oh, I well, just touched your boob. <laughs> it's not the first time. Any whores, um, if you have to say anything about our videos, you can say them constructively. You can, 
you can be mean all you want and we're not gonna we're most likely not gonna block you to be honest i mean you're giving us you're giving us views i mean okay i mean chris crocker became famous because of a video that gave him so much hate but i mean look who has so many subscribers now we're the underdog of youtube right now yes that's the thing so everybody is like leaving us horrible comments and then once we get Famous. Super, like, a lot of subscribers, and we just put out, like, a video of, like, super us boring taking stuff. a shit or something. Like, no joke, Shane Dawson's vlogs, like, his iPhone vlogs, they're boring. Not gonna lie, I love Shane Dawson, but his iPhone vlogs are boring. And then we do a fart video, and everybody's like, that's so gross, and then they have a video of one of them shitting in the other one's face, and it's funny and cute. What? We are actually not racist. Well, I'm not. He might be. No, but... I'm not racist. I swear. I love black people. I love Asian people. And I love impersonating them, though. The thing That's is... not racist. Is to it? be popular, to be hilarious, you have to do things that are going to upset some people. And we will do them. I mean, there's a video... All of them. <laughs> there's a video bitch. of me saying some pretty mean things about people of darker skin color in our Thanksgiving video. All right, um, so I'll see you guys later, and um, bye. Bye. Toodaloo.